It'd be a lot of fun, and that is what's happening. And then finally, we have the sub-only giveaways, of which uh, this month we're giving away two 3070s. The way you get in on that, if you're over at youtube.com slash robytech, twitch.tv slash newegg, and you're like, man, I, you know, I have Amazon Prime, then pop on over to twitch.tv slash robytech, drop your free Prime sub, you may walk away with a 3070 GPU. And uh, that, would be, that would be super awesome, didn't you think? So you might walk away with the 3070 uh, and a dream. Um, and as well, if you want to get extra entries on that, all you got to do is drop, uh, you can drop uh, gifted subs. Uh, you can also subscribe for multiple months. Uh, and then finally, uh, subscribing to tier two and tier three is probably one of the best ways to get the most extra entries. So lots of stuff going on uh, and lots of giveaways. It should be awesome. 267%, we're already at 26 subs already. Let's see if we can get to the 50. Let's do it, guys. Let's drop some subs, get some hype going, and then uh, we'll uh, start talking parts and talking about this awesome XPG build that we're gonna be doing today. Thank you very much, Grandma Hates Tech. Appreciate it. So it's always good to see, we've seen her come in here. And there we go, we got Ayaz Jomo saying, let's go, let's go. Hype in the channel. Come on, 300%, guys, let's get to, let's, let's, let's make it happen. Let's get it up there. We know we can do that. Listen, we just, we, I know everybody got a sub last week, but um, now is the time to just get a little bit, a little bit, a uh, little bit more crazy. How do you, how do you do PCs for viewers if we buy, pay for parts? So somebody's just asking, hey, how does the, uh, how does, how does, how does commissions work? So I talked a little bit about this on Friday. I'm just gonna do the high level edition because we went through it in depth on Friday. Um, the way it basically works, you just reach out to me on, uh, you reach out to me on, uh, on uh, Discord. Um, you tell me what your budget is. Ideally, it's always, I usually only do them for over 2K every once in a while. I'll make exceptions. The main reason being is that it's 15% of the total cost and it's hard for me to justify uh, doing it for you when it's a little less than that because then you're spending a lot on parts. Uh, you're spending a lot of my commission and not necessarily as much on parts. I'd rather you get the best PC possible. Around 2K, it kind of starts to equate out. Um, once you do that, then we basically uh, lock down your GPU and CPU combination. And then around the time, very close to when your PC, about a week and a half before your PC build is actually gonna happen, we lock down the rest of your parts. Uh, and then uh, from there, uh, you uh, we then build it here live on the stream. So it's 15% of the total cost of the PC for commission, plus figure 11% for tax. Uh, so 11% for tax, then total cost of that whole up equals the commission. Then we uh, we have you spend $100 uh, towards shipping because you might want to ship it faster, etc. But that's basically how it all breaks down. Right now, I am pretty much booked all the way through March and probably into early April uh, just because 3080s have been so slow to get a hold of that we have a pretty big backlog. Um, but if you have like a 3070 or 3060 build, um, those are a little bit easier uh, for me to get my hands on right now. So that is where it is. That is uh, how you get in on the builds and that is what's happening. So yeah, thank you very much for all of those new subs. We're at 38. So we're close to basically locking it down today. And then we're gonna look at a new case from XPG, which should be awesome. How was everybody's weekend? Oh, nice, Star Blazer, uh, Star, was it Art? Sarts Blaze Blaster. Thank you very much for the four months. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Strong of Christ, for your two month strength. That's in two month strength, that's incredible. We got Blue Jays subscribing for seven months. Trave, uh, Trave SM, uh, Travis M, also uh, two months. Congratulations. We got Evil Gord uh, with four months. We got Tigger McGee celebrating nine months. We got a, we got people coming up on their one year. They've almost got their entire PC built on their uh, on their icon, which is pretty cool. There's Tigger with the nine month. Uh, there's Tigger with the nine month um, uh, uh, icon, which is pretty awesome. So that's pretty crazy. Um, we got the original Parker Bot celebrating six months, which is great as well. Just got a job offer after getting laid off. That's awesome, see the fuss. Congratulations. And then thank you very much, uh, Goose Frabra. Frabra? One? Thank you very much. Two months there as well. Guys, so much awesomeness. We're five away. How's my day? My day is good. I love getting to go and stream with you guys. I love building PCs. I look forward to the challenge of a new case. So that's always exciting. Um, we, uh, you know, I was talking to the tech specialist today. Oh, Candy, J89, thank you very much for three months. I was talking to the tech specialist today and uh, we were laughing about how many 011 dynamic builds I have done and how, you know, how just how popular they are. So it's nice to get to step away from commission builds because a lot of those, they go off recommendations for me and a lot of people want 011 builds and we do actually have an 011 build coming up next week. Um, but, you know, it's always nice to go and say, hey, here's something new, like the Corsair 5000D, which great. We have the uh, Tomahawk case review coming out tomorrow. Um, you know, anytime I get to do something new and show something off it might mean that, you know, commissions might change a little bit. We're actually doing a commission in the ASA, uh, the ASA cast case actually next week. 
which is pretty crazy. So somebody finally was like, yeah, that's an awesome case. So it's, it's cool to actually show things off and then maybe build some new commissions around that stuff, which is pretty rad. Um, yeah, it is hard. Bad Dogs Game saying it's hard to beat the 011. Honestly, the 011 is, it's a great case. Um, it's not the best airflow case, but man, it is an attractive looking case. So yeah, that's going to them. Uh, you're welcome for liking your cable manager. That's great. Morton, um, okay. Hey, I'm drinking the same ice flavor. Awesome. Who, who's, who's, uh, who, uh, every time you, you come in and you play, you come and join Roby Tech, you, you grab an ice. Who's an ice drinker while I drink my ice? I'm curious. Thank you very much. It's Gumby. Welcome. One month right there as well. So just curious. Um, this guy. Okay, we got Bubba J USA dropping it. Uh, did the winner claim lag? I believe so. I didn't hear that they didn't. So yes, I think uh, I think they probably did claim it. I think they did. That was like a pretty awesome thing. So um, even though last time they the first time somebody did not do it. Have you all done a build in the 5000X yet? No, we've done in the 5000D Airflow, but not in the 5000X. Um, grape raspberry ice here. Okay, good. So we got quite a few people dropping the dropping the uh, drinking the ices already. P508 is a great, absolutely great case. Oh, thanks, Sam. I appreciate that. Thank you for letting me know. I'm okay with it. Uh, I forgot it's Monday. Yay. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Yes, they claimed. Okay, there we go. Right there. Confirmation from Blondie. Yes, uh, lag was actually claimed. So there we go. Uh, did you miss the hype train? You did, but it's okay. We got a second one coming up, Ace. And so you got your chance to get in on make, make hype awesome. We're already at 50 subs almost. Three subs away and we'll be at 50 subs. Um, Ice caffeine got me off drinking pop. Okay, my I, I'll tell you guys, it was hard. It was hard today. Uh, my my wife and my kids actually had today off, and so my wife was in the middle of making this really amazing dinner, completely forgetting that I had to stream today. So I told her I was like, hey, she was like, oh, she's like, I'm so excited about this dinner. I was like, yeah, I'm really excited too. It just sucks. I'm not gonna be able to eat, be able to eat it until I get home uh, later tonight. And uh, she was like, oh, it's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, I have to stream tonight. Stern, I'm thank you very much for the five gifted subs. And she's, I'm like, yeah, babe, I got, I got streaming tonight. I got to hang out with the crew. And then she's like, no, she was like really sad. So um, it was, uh, it was, it was hard for her because she wanted me to have me home and have me eat dinner with the fam tonight. And so I was like, no, I'm here. I'm here to play, here to play and here to build with my fam, with my other family, my Robotech family. And we are here to go again. 180, absolutely, completely agree. I need to play. Um, oh, that sucks, Delvis. I, Devil, don't worry, man. It's all good. You, you can do it when you do it. What did she make? She made uh, drumsticks, uh, teriyaki uh, chicken drumsticks, uh, mashed potatoes, and uh, I think uh, rolls and green beans. So I will get to eat it, of course, reheated when I get home. But yeah, going there. Already. Is there any 5900X build soon? I have to go look. I think, I do think we have a 5900X. We are doing an Intel build next week, which is cool. Um, I'm trying to remember what the build is. That's coming up, sub goal reach. Oh, there we go, sub goal for the first one. So we've already gone there. Um, so yeah, we uh, we do have a 10 and a 10850 build coming up. I'm trying to remember what the other builds are. I will know more on Wednesday, um, but we have a Corsair 5000D build coming up. We have an Azza cast build coming up. We've got a Lee and Lee Owen one dynamic build coming up. Uh, and then we're gonna be checking out a couple other new cases as well. So yeah, yeah, you don't, Devil's Bird's right. You don't see that very often. Give Bob away. Wow, no way. Bob, Bob's here to stay. Plus, my son would kill me. I didn't have Bob up. Well, I'll put Bob over here by the by the uh, thing and go to the kind of the widescreen so you guys can see Bob. He's excited. He said, "What? To give me away? No way. That makes him sad." Uh, I like the Lancol 215 too. Uh, you know, I don't think we've I don't think we've actually built in that. I think I have one of those, but I haven't actually got to build in it. Uh, what are your thoughts on the 6800 XT? Not looking for ray tracing. Uh, it's a better card than the 3080. Uh, it's more expensive than the 3080, unfortunately, given all of the stuff that's going on with uh, all the stuff that's going on with uh, uh, the current tariffs. So they're 1,000 to 1,200 bucks. Um, but uh, if you can get a hold of one, they're great cards. I have no issue with the 6800 XT. We just did a build with the 6900 XT last week that uh, Kevin just got finished making it all look great. Um, and so I'm really excited about that. Um, would you recommend some X570 boards for the 5900X? Yes, um, I like the Tough B550 Wi-Fi. Oh, sorry, I like the Tough X570 Wi-Fi. Um, I like the um, ROG Strix uh, Gaming E or Gaming F. 
Um, I also recommend um, any of the ASRock, the new B5, the new X570, the Tai Chi boards, but they have some new X570 boards. I think you're seeing a lot of discontinued X570 boards because I think you're about to see uh, Mobo refresh. I don't know if it's necessarily the best time to buy X570 until all the 3000, like you're gonna have like their new versions with the, with the support 5000 series. And then I think we'll see, it's very similar to like Z590 because there was just a Z590 refresh. Um, so I think you'll see some newer ones, but uh, either one of those, like I, I, RG, Tough, um, Oris, any one of those are great um, X570 boards. So um, yeah, he's in the O face. He's, he's got his O face right now because he's surprised that you guys want to take him. Okay, who wants to talk about parts after we do a dad joke? Who wants to talk about parts? Who wants to know what's going in today's build today? Today's build today. Today's build, yeah, something like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, yeah, Blondie's hanging out on the shelf. We'll switch her over. You know what, Blondie hung out last game, so let's uh, let's put Eternal up. Uh, hopefully Eternal, did, Eternal, do you have power? Do you have power? I see Eternal in chat. I think Eternal's, I'm curious if she's actually got power now. Um, so hopefully she does. Uh, okay, uh, what's brown and sticky? Uh, stick, yeah, I've, I've heard that one many times before. <clears throat> oh, okay, I like this one. This is from Jim, Jim Payne 33, Jim Payne 33, and here we go. Uh, oh, dad, you gotta save me. And he goes, and what would you like to be, a PDF or an XLS? <laughs> okay, uh, Martin, uh, uh, it does not look like that Eternal has power, but luckily she has the power of the squid behind us. So there we go. Um, 16 days and counting. Okay. I, I've heard this one before, but I like this one. Um, a priest, this is from Eternal Rage, so celebrating a little bit with Eternal there, right there. A priest, a rabbit, and a minister walk into a bar. The bartender asks the rabbit, what do you all have? The rabbit says, I don't know. I'm only here because of autocorrect. <laughs> That one's also really good. Oh man, I like that one. I like I like both of those. Okay, let's talk about parts. Let's talk about what we're putting in the build today. Um, you know, it's even for me, I'm gonna be a little bit surprised. So here we go. I'm gonna be a little bit surprised. For the CPU, because it's right here, we're gonna be using the Ryzen 7 5800X. Um, it's not a 5900X, but it's a 5800X. So it's got, it's 100 less, but therefore 100% better. Um, just kidding, that's not, actually not true. This is eight core, 16 threads. Um, absolutely crazy. Uh, I want that in seven case. Yeah, I love, I'm, this is ready and ready to uh, be used for when we uh, play, uh, when we play Mass Effect here very soon. Um, so Ryzen a, uh, is eight core, 16 threads. Um, should be absolutely awesome for this build. Um, we just, we, you know, it's what I had on hand. And so we wanted to throw something in there for cool. Uh, we're going to be using the MCG X570 uh, Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. This does actually have BIOS flash flashback. So uh, if you you know if you are using Ryzen 5000, thank you very much, Grandma hates tech for the five dollars. Um, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy my funny jokes. Uh, we're going to be uh, the X570. It's got BIOS flashback, so it will support uh, 5000 series out of the box. We can build the whole PC and then flash it, and it'd be good to go, which is great. So I always love that. Um, and uh, Opinions on Radeon 6700 being 479 at 479 at MSRP. 490, 60, I, I need to see what it's more powerful than right now, Command Panzer. I don't, I don't have an answer for that, but let me change the giveaway stuff here real quick. I need to, like, there's just not enough information for me to say whether it's, that that's a good price or not. Um, sub goal, okay, we're at 60. And in that goal, we're on our way to $100 new gift card. We, uh, we want 100, we have 60, zero, 03. Okay, there we go. Next goal is up for the day. Okay, so there's our motherboard. Uh, I love this motherboard. Uh, I like the carbon. This carbon's like kind of my favorite of the MSI, uh, the Gaming Edge Carbon. Uh, really like the way that board is with Stealth Black, but uh, should be absolutely cool looking in this. This is gonna be like a bit of a Stormtrooper-esque build. We got a white case with a bunch of black components. Um, we'll probably make all of the RGB white. Um, which I think will actually end up looking pretty awesome. I don't know. I little like we're doing a black and yellow build, and I really like that as well. So we've got some options there. Okay, so there is our CPU and our motherboard. Okay, let's bring, let's grab all the, grab all the weird RGB stuff here. Uh, we're using the XPD Spectrix 
uh, 540G. This is a two terabyte NVMe SSD. I did confirm, by the way, um, this does work off of just you changing the RGB hardware, RGB on your um, motherboard. So I know that came up when I did the 6900 XT build with that massive cooler. Um, and we were like, I was like, oh, I don't know if you can change this, but um, we did change it. It does change based on your motherboard. So it doesn't stay rainbow. Pretty awesome. Didn't think that actually was the way it worked, which is great. So a nice little surprise for me. Um, so really excited to get this in here uh, as well. Um, for RAM, we're using these XPG Spectrix. If you're noticing a pattern here, there's a lot of XPG part. That's right, it's an XPG build. Uh, we're using the Spectrix D60G, uh, D60G, that's right. This is uh, CL141515 at, uh, I think this is 3600 megahertz. So nice tight timings, nice low latency RAM, uh, and very attractive looking. I know a lot of people really wanted to see this. Uh, we've showed off the T-Force uh, RAM not that long ago, and here we are showing off some of that XP Spectrix. So something a little bit different, uh, because I think we've seen a lot of Corsair and a lot of that sort of stuff. So uh, cool to show you all this stuff from XPG. So there's our RAM, and there's our, uh, our uh, NVMe. Um, for cooling, we actually have used this before, uh, and uh, you know one of the things I learned is on the Twitter post, I put the wrong build, um, but this this will look familiar. Um, this is the XPG uh, uh, Le Levante 240. We actually have a 360 that they sent me as well, but it won't fit in this case. But Levante 240, um, you know, attractive looking uh, 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 RGB, uh, did perfectly fine in our, our light, and I, I, I highlight that light testing. Um, and so uh, I, I can't give you like a full recommendation, but we had no issues with what we were able to test with the limited time we had uh, with this AIO. Um, attractive, uh, overall attractive low profile pump, which is nice. Um, and then at the same time, uh, the fans also look really good, easily controllable from RGB. Um, and so the cool thing about this is like everything here, given it's all within the same ecosystem, uh, the RGB values, et cetera, will also look very nice. So there is our AIAIO. Um, for our mother, for our GPU, um, we're using the our GeForce RTX 3070. Um, I know that people are probably thinking, hey, he's gonna use an EVGA. That was for the other XPG build. Uh, this is for this XPG build. We're using the Gaming Trio, Gaming X Trio. It's funny, I went from primarily using 3080s in my builds to primarily using 3070s. All in all, 3070 from a price, like right now, price, standpoint is probably the better of the cards. The 3080 is pretty heavily priced. And then all in all, like what you get from a 3070 is actually pretty impressive. Um, it is definitely de better than a 2080 Ti. Um, you know, it's de better than any uh, 2000 series uh, NVIDIA GPU. They're much easier to get than th the 3080 series. And then now with them being what 3080s essentially used to cost, um, they're just, they're, they're better bang for the buck because the 3080 is like usually over $1,000 at this point in time. Um, so great card um, and uh, you know capable of 4K, capable of um, 1440p. I mean, you can run, you can run, uh, you know, Cyberpunk at 4K at Ultra with the LSS, no problem. Um, and then it definitely handles things like uh, uh, like flight sim, etc. No problem at 1440 and at 4K depending on what you want to do. And again, most people are playing games at 1440p, majority are actually playing at 1080p. So usually doing something like a 3080 is kind of a bit of overkill, um, especially given the price for those cards. But some people like to flex and then they go and get 3090s or whatever it was. So great GPU, love the way this looks. It comes with a really cool um, anti-sag uh, component as well, which I like. Um, so uh, I think this will look good in here. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little concerned it may be too long. I didn't check my uh, tech specialist. If you wouldn't mind looking at my uh, width and just verifying, we may have to go to something a little bit shorter. So we might switch this, uh, but we may not. I'm, I'm gonna get confirmation and uh, well, I'll check in my uh, tech specialist to make sure it fits. So um, love this card, it should be good. Um, and it also looks good. Well, given what, that's why we're doing all MSI. For PSU, um, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, but I like the, you know, we've used this before. XPG does make, um, does make uh, hard uh, PSUs. Um, this is the XPG Core Reactor 850 Gold. Um, and yeah, we're gonna use it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna use an XPG. I don't know a ton about this PSU. I don't, like again, I'll probably see if my tech specialist uh, come back and let me know if it's on any of the warning lists. Um, but again, we're looking at XPG. We wanted to use as much of their stuff as absolutely possible. I'll come back and let you guys know about this um, here in a few moments. It does have a 10-year um, warranty, which is 
Um, one of the things I really like, when you usually see stuff like that, it has a tendency to believe in their reliability, so um, something a little bit different there. Um, <clears throat> I have the 750 watt a tier PSU is really quiet. Yeah, I, I, I haven't heard any bad things. I just want to see if there's anything weird there. A data, what did somebody say? Yeah, so get it. Yeah, a lot of people saying I got the PC already. Okay, and then finally, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use, uh, so a lot of people know about the Lee and Lee uh, strimmers, um, but they don't know that XPG also makes RGB cables. Um, and this, the other reason I chose the 3070 is that uh, they don't have a three pin version like Lee and Lee does. Uh, but these are their XPG Prime ARGB extension cables. Uh, we're gonna be using that as well. Um, and so uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, sh making as much RGB as possible. It's one thing I like about XPG is we always throw in a ton of RGB. So we've got their Prime ARGB expansion cable. Uh, and then we've also got their, uh, their motherboard, both their VGA and motherboard ones. So uh, should look good and uh, should have lots of lights. So um, should be good there. So there we go. That is our entire build. Um, one other thing is that this thing, uh, the case as it comes stock only comes with uh, two fans. Um, I don't have any more RGB fans from XPG, but it has a single three fan, a uh, single fan in the front. Uh, they did send me these, um, their Vento Pro 120 PWM fans. They're actually gonna replace the three fans in the front with these, they're black and white, black and gray. Um, they'll be a little bit more attractive than the black and bl the all black one. Um, so I'm gonna throw these in there just to give it better airflow out of the front versus just having that single one in the center. Um, and just to see how these, basically how these perform as well. So there's some, there's some additional, hey, bonus. Um, I wish they were RGB, but we didn't, we don't have any more XPG RGB fans. So yeah, it's going to, from there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all of our components. That's what we're putting in the build today. And that is it. What do you guys think? Any thoughts based on what you've seen? No? Look, lots, lots of subs. Thank you. 64 subs already. Just crushing it already, which is awesome. Uh, Mask Gorilla. I hope you do not pay uh, scout prices either because it's a little ridiculous. Who, um, you guys do know about the New Egg Shuffle, right? Like, people know about the New Egg Shuffle. Um, um, uh, so some people are asking, so uh, that's a great question. Uh, Afrogan, Af Afrogan Sao was asking, when do you run out of three and four pins? Most of them are actually daisy chainable. I actually have, uh, and I'll go grab them if we need them. I have uh, basically splitters. So you, there's lots of options. So you can use a single header and connect four or five or six different things to that. So not a, not a big, not a big uh, deal. Uh, somebody's asking about the giveaway for February. We announced that on Friday. Um, so that's when it is there. Yeah, I'm on the list. Cool, cool. So yeah, don't forget, uh, it's witchcraft rig. You have to be a supernatural creature to get picked. Toad Elk, that's not true. Um, we do know many of people who have on our Discord have actually been picked. I, I got picked today, so there you go. I, I did win. I have lost a lot, but I did I did win. I won a 3060 today, so there you go. Um, uh, what CPU and GPU do you think is a good combo for a $2,000 build? Uh, right now, I'd say a 5600X and a 3060. Uh, 3060 if you, is what you, like probably your safest bet given where we are. I mean, 3060s are 500, could be as much as 500 bucks. So when does this guy start building? Shut up, Trey. Shut up. You're now assistant to the assistant. So that's where you're at, buddy. Trey being mean here. <clears throat> so there we go. Um, hi, everybody. Hey, Trisha's here. Trisha, I see Trisha Hirschberger. Can I give a shout out to Trisha? I like, I, I, I know she lurks but I never get to see her. So can we get a shout out to Trisha? Uh, Trisha is a longtime friend, uh, absolutely amazing person. Absolutely love, love her and her husband, um, Nate, uh, who live out in LA. Um, she got me like a lot of stuff. Like she, she's one of the people I started working with really early on in Newegg, uh, does a lot for Amazon and just basically does a lot for the community in general. Um, she's super cool and it's good to have her here on the channel. I know that she hangs out uh, she's told me she's hanging out before, but I've never got to see her say hi. I'm always like in the throw of it. So it's pretty cool to actually get it. So Trisha, hi, how's Nate? Hope your family's doing well. Love your son, love your family. Much love to your, uh, your, entire, your entire organization over there. Um, Cause you guys are always killing it. And so, uh, yeah, if you don't get, if you don't watch her, follow Trisha Hershberg. I know a lot of you guys do watch her. She streams uh, usually uh, earlier in the day, uh, both on Amazon and then here on Twitch. She does the gong show. So if you want to see some, uh, some nice indie titles, uh, she gongs it up and you get to choose the games that she plays, whether they're good or bad. Um, and she's been playing some pretty crazy games. So she's, she's got some talent. She's got some, some talent. Unlike me, 
um, who is not talented when it comes to the game playing. So uh, give it a go to him. Did the Aggie come with a trophy? It did. I did. I don't know if Trisha knows that I won it again this year. I did not win. Uh, I did not win um, Geek of the Year. That went to Linus. Um, and then there were three, there were two other categories. I won Influencer of the Year, and it does come with a trophy that looks just like that. I have not received it yet, but it is coming. So yeah, uh, yeah, she's Amazon famous. She's everything famous. She's like cosplay famous and everything. She was in, by the way, I don't know if you know this, but Trisha was in a Daft Punk video. So there you go, there you go. Hey, let's start building guys. I know I've, I've, I've killed enough of your time. Let's get this build going and go from there. Um, there, yeah, Trisha, yeah, Trisha's like, Stop it, you stalker. I'm not a stalker. I think you're just, I would like, we, that's the thing. It's like, we all, we all like when we're friends and we love to celebrate each other. And so she's pretty dang awesome. Okay, build time guys. Here is our awesome motherboard. This is a MSI, uh, this is the MSI Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. My mind just went blank. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna start here and let's zoom in a little bit and get it, get it going here. And uh, starting to building. Yeah, it's building time. Oh, there we go. Nice of that. Look at look at Blondie. She's just she she thinks of everything. Now this build is not being given away. This build is not even staying together. It's just to show off the XPG um, um, case and then uh, you know make it look good. Take some pictures of it and then uh, it goes back in the box and back into the parts shelf. Uh, so we can do other builds uh, in the future with it. So this is the uh, MSI Gaming Edge. We are going to go ahead and take off the peels because nah, that's why not. Here we go, the X570 thing right there. Pretty attractive board. It's got this nice little yellow trim there on the left-hand side. Now, like I said, I like the gaming carbon better, um, which we use a lot during Intel Mod Mondays. Um, but yeah, I'm still a big fan of it. Now, I haven't got to do this in a while, so we'll be, we'll be quick about it because I've, I've kind of started like rambling uh, pretty early on because I, I like you guys. Um, is uh, let's do a little quick tour. I know a lot of people are probably new to PC building, so as we build PCs, I like to try and give you guys some insight into what we're actually talking about when I hook things up to headers and all that sort of stuff. So who's new? I'd love to know, raise a hand. Who's new um, to, the, uh, to the PC building community? Like this is your first time or you've never seen a live PC build or anything like that. I'd love to know PCIe, PCIe-E broken. What? What are you talking about? This is, nothing looks broken here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this this is completely useless. Look at that. That's uh, yeah. We're not going to be using this board. Yikes! That is wrecked. Get wrecked, son. Wow, that is atrocious. Yeah, rip. I was like, what? And then okay, so now we got to go find a new motherboard. I wonder when I bought this because that needs to get replaced. That's terrible. Yeah, holy moly, yeah, the RMA, that one, for sure, dang. Okay, well, that was fun. This motherboard is completely hosed. Uh, so we gotta find out if what this was. I don't know, I just need an X570 MOBO, or a B550, either one. Uh, do we have anything MSI in there? Wow, that is, get wrecked, son. Yeah, I'd love to do MSI if possible. Um, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a shipping snafu. That's the first time I've, I mean, it's funny because it's like the second motherboard we've seen damaged. The first one we had some bent pins on the, um, we had some bent pins on the, um, uh, on the uh, RGB, but this one is like, that one's like super wrecked. That's like not even a good board. I don't know if we have it. Uh, yeah, that'll work. We're gonna do an MSI B550 Tomahawk. Yeah, let's throw that on here. Yeah, does it does it have a bias flashback? It should be on the on the back. You could you should be able to see it. Uh, uh, it should show a motherboard back thing. I think it does. I actually think I'm pretty 90% sure it does. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll use that. Thank you, sir. I'll trade you this, and then we're gonna have to find out when I bought this and RMA that. That is like hosed. Cool. Thank you. Switching back to it back in uh, back in business guys Bob broke it. Okay back in business using the MSI MAGB 550 Tomahawk another absolutely incredible board and hopefully this one is not broken <laughs> Oh man All right, there we go 
Thank you, uh, Mr. Kevin, for helping us uh, sort that out pretty quick. This is also a great motherboard. Um, the other one was great if it didn't arrive broken. I need a new beard comb. Yeah, there we go. We haven't done it. We haven't done that joke in a while, but I'm, I'm letting I'm letting it I'm letting it simmer. I'm letting it simmer. Whoa. Okay, there we go. By the way, I have some Christmas gifts that I got that I need to go bring on the show that people that you guys have sent me, and uh, we need to uh, I need to show them off. Including somebody sent me a uh, small like uh, like I think it was Galaga arcade machine. Like these really thoughtful gifts that I need to show off because they are just so cool. So I, I, I meant to do that. Somebody sent me a potato uh, and then my wife thought it was a joke and uh, threw it away before I could see who sent it. Um, it actually was like an environmental thing uh, and it was like a, a pretty cool, like somebody gets a cent and it goes, a money goes towards um, a neat little cause. But uh, she threw it away thinking somebody was joking. And so I was like, uh, that's not a joke. I would have liked to have seen. So she apologized and promised you she'd never do that again. Um, I don't think I need, I think the, I think all of the stuff hopefully is in here because I don't see any M.2 screws. So, <clears throat> oh, Evil Gord, that's who, yeah. Evil Gord was the one who sent me the Galaxian game. So there he is right there. I have the card and stuff. So Evil Gord sent it. I'm gonna show it off next week. I'll show it off on Friday. Uh, so I can show that because a couple people sent me some really neat stuff and I really appreciate um, when things, when people do stuff like that. So um, let me see what's going on here. Somebody texted me. Oh, hold on. These are always important. Oh, snap. Much better. Okay. Okay, so here's our board. Uh, this is a B550 board. Uh, walking you guys through this real quick. Uh, just real, real, real fast. Uh, up here on the top left, this is our EPS CPU power connector. This basically powers this section right here. This is called your VRM. Uh, this is a, basically what handles the phase and uh, type of power that your CPU gets. The better this is, the more um, the more pure the power that you get to the CPU, which means that things like uh, when you do overclocking, et cetera, or even um, just stability can be a bit better, the better the VRM. This is called your AM4 socket. Uh, this has been with Ryzen for quite a while. There's rumor that we're gonna have AM5 here pretty soon, specifically because they're going to a different size. Uh, it's, it's getting off of uh, the, the current nanometer and going to something smaller. So that's uh, this could change uh, with the release of uh, the next generation of AMD CPUs. Right here, this is your RAM. Uh, this is where you're gonna stick your RAM slots. Uh, this is dual channel uh, on this motherboard. Uh, there, uh, this is channel B and this is channel A. Uh, this, a lot of times uh, you'll see down here, it's actually showing you um, Sorry, this is A and this is B. Sorry, I'm at, I'm, I got that backwards. This is A, this is B. And down here on the bottom, if you have less, um, more than less than four dim sticks, we're gonna be thro throwing in all four dims. It'll show you actually where to plug them in on a lot of motherboards nowadays. This is a fan header up here. Uh, this is a PWM fan header. If you have one thing that comes up a lot of people is like, oh, mine's only three pins. Can I plug it into a four pin? Yes, you absolutely can. It supports up the PWM, but if you have just a straight three pin, it also works there. Um, this one on the far left is the CPU fan. And then the one next to it is usually like a pump fan. Uh, right here, this is your addressable RGB. Somebody was talking about that. He's like, hey, how, when you run out of three pins, this is a three pin, five volt addressable. And then we have some more fan headers over here. We've got a sys fan and they're actually labeled here on the motherboard. This is your 24 pin um, motherboard power. This powers the other three quarters of your uh, motherboard. Um, and then we've got USB-C, which is awesome for B550. That's not something that comes on a lot of B550 boards. One of the things I really like about Tomahawks is that they're just great value boards. Um, they have a lot for the a lot of value for what you pay. Um, you've got six SATA. This is where you plug in your SATA. Not a lot of people use SATA uh, SSDs anymore, but should you need them, um, you've actually got six. Um, you could plug into six if you wanted to uh, for physical hard drives and uh, SSDs. Uh, we've got another fan header right here. Uh, down here in the bottom, we've also got a front panel connector. This is where we're gonna plug things like our power switch or reset switch and stuff like that. Pretty much the most outdated connectors. I love companies like NZXT that have actually turned these into like a single, hey, plug in, but not a lot of fan company, not a lot of uh, case companies are doing stuff, probably because they copy, uh, sorry, they probably, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they probably, 
patented it, and then now because there's a patent, you can't go back and go from there. Uh, over here, you've got USB 3 um, right here. This is your USB 3. You've got USB 2 next to it. Uh, these are USB 3s, like that blue uh, blue connector that you see. This is for the front panel one. The ones on the rear, you don't have to worry. Those work without plugging this stuff in. Uh, USB 2, if that's supported and that's on the front. A lot of times where we use these for is things like our AIOs or for hubs, etc. But these are basically expansions that you're going to connect while building the PCs. Um, we've got uh, another RGB, 5 volt addressable RGB, another fan header, and then over here on the far left is HD audio. We've got a PCIe Gen 4, um, which PCIe Gen 4 is kind of a newer in terms of NVMe SSDs. We've got a range of those now out right now. Um, you can also do PCIe Gen 3 here as well, but with B550, uh, this is PCIe Gen 4 and this is PCIe Gen 4 capable, your top PCIe slot and your top N.2 slot. The rest, everything else here is PCIe Gen 3. You've got two Gen, you've got two by one PCIe slots and then you've got a by eight as well as a second uh, M.2 slot, which is supported by uh, Gen, uh, PCIe Gen 3. Uh, and then over here, you've got your uh, you've got your B550 chipset. It just says Tomahawk, um, and then boom, you can like you can like put this on and lock, pretend like a launch a Tomahawk missile, and then it goes and hits something. So that is uh, that is your motherboard um, copy or whatever. Yeah, but that's your motherboard right there. Uh, I did it quickly, so I just want to make sure because we're we're I'm, you know having to switch your motherboard was kind of like a, a nice little surprise. So let's get started on the building part and then go from there. Actually, you can stay zoomed in. Let's zoom in and, and show it a little bit off. How, How's everybody feeling today? So far, so good. Today's spree. Yeah, I don't know why that stream elements thing is keep doing that. That's weird. <clears throat> Woo! Oh yeah, tomahawk could. Well, I was thinking the tomahawk missile, but yes, you could do a tomahawk axe. I guess you could also do that as well. I was thinking of the missile, which actually, by the way. Uh, just so you know, they're thinking of the missile too. It's literally on the board. They're not thinking about a tomahawk. Um, they're not thinking about a tomahawk weapon. They're thinking about the tomahawk um, surface-to-air cruise missile. Um, so just to be super clear, uh, I'm on brand. You're not. So there we go. <laughs> That's a joke, of course. But yeah. Um, okay. So here we go. We're gonna open up our uh, CPU now. And get this installed. Yes, the tomahawk is also a weapon, but as is the uh, but the the one uh, tomahawk tomahawk cruise missile definitely meet, uh, beats tomahawk axe in the rock paper scissors game. All MSI product reviews. Search YouTube for MSI kill shot. Okay. Okay, here we go. Right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this to 90 degrees. Drop this down right here like that. And then we're just gonna pop it down and boom, there we go. CPU is installed and we are good to go. Okay, that is that right there. Let's grab our M.2. We're actually gonna stick our M.2. We're not, we're gonna stick our M.2 here and not above because I want the, I want the, um, I want the, RGB to show. I was hoping, one thing I liked about the other MSI board is that it had an uncovered M.2 slot, um, but this one, uh, now that we've had to switch, um, we're just, uh, we're, having to, we're having to go with the flow a little bit. So we're gonna throw our M.2 in and then we'll throw our RAM in after this, so. I'm gonna take this off and then I do need a, oh, you know what? I just realized I'm gonna need a, I need an M.2 screw. I wonder if, because this has got, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this here. Okay, so this does have the, where is my, this has the, this has headers in it. I wonder where the screws are for this thing. I see the M.2 screws in here. I have more M.2 screws, so it's not a completely big deal, but even for my M.2 screws, I don't see them in here. I have more, so we'll just use the other ones. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're going to take this out completely and we're gonna keep this with it, and we're gonna throw this inside the bag <clears throat> so we don't lose it, because we're gonna use... In there? Okay, cool. Okay, stand by, let's grab another M.2 screw. I don't know why this is over here. It should not be over here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. And I have, there we go, that's what I needed right there. See if this one fits. 
should. Look at that, success. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we're gonna grab our XPG two terabyte. Attached to your MOBO guide. Oh, is it's attached to the mo oh the mother book? Is it really? Mine is not. There's nothing attached to the book. Or the guide. Oh, it's in here. I found them. Okay, guys, I did find it. It was inside. Here they are in here. We did find them. Thank you very much for pointing that out. This is why you read chat, guys. This is why you read chat. But it's okay. We can use this one. It's fine. So, not a big deal. I'll use this one because it's open and good to go. Need to zoom out a tab. Oh, excuse you guys can't see. There you go. There you go. It's down. I put it down. There you go. Okay, here we go. Here's our XPG, XPG uh, M.2 NVMe. We did we did show this off. Like I said, we showed off a 512 version. Um, we're gonna look exactly the same. We did show one off uh, with the um, the AMD uh, in the last build that we did, uh, showing off the Fractal. Um, but yeah, I, I like the way these look. And then we're gonna change the obviously have more RGB there. So, ooh, let's take this out. Move our, there we go. There we go. Okay, XPG in. Okay, next up, let's throw our RAM in. I like the I like the way this I like the way this RAM looks. It's a nice RAM. Dropping it out like waffles. Waffle drop. What's a good bang for the buck power supply? Blitz. Uh, you should not worry about bang for buck. You should buy. Uh, quality um, and so my recommendation is any of the EVGA G5 line are my favorites um, And so uh, which are the ones that I would recommend uh, I'm gonna check my tech specialist to see what they said about the uh, In a meeting no, I want to nobody responded to me. Where's my tech specialist? What's the deal guys is the is the GPU gonna fit in the case? Do we know I was just I was checking the checking the check checking the chat. I don't know if anybody responded to me. So we're going from there. Uh, the G, the G, I know from uh, talking to EVGA, the G5 doesn't seem to have the same problem. Okay, hold on. He's saying Roby Tech. There it goes. Uh, has flashback. GPU uh, caseless 350. No warnings on XPG. Okay, cool. They did respond and tell me yes, it fits. No problem. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for that, gentlemen. I looked in the wrong chat. That's my bad. Uh, drink on me. So <laughs> they're, they're drunk already. Yeah. Because I've said whoopsie too much. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop these little slots out already. What we're gonna do is uh, pop these in just like so, and click! Oh, so, such good clicks. Again, looking at the slot of the PCB, lining up just like that. Click! There it is right there. Uh, favorite Pokemon is, um, I love Pikachu. Second one would have to be uh, probably uh, Squirtle. I like Squirtle a lot. Um, and then, you know, Mewtwo, like I like some of the Mew and Mewtwo ones as well. Uh, so there we go. Okay, and then lastly, right here, last, last, last dim. And uh, look at that, boom, clack! Looks good and it's already ready to go. That, 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 I love, that RAM looks nice, right? And like even from like the whole thing, like it's just very nice looking RAM uh, in, uh, in uh, just overall. So we'll, we'll show that a little bit more when we, we actually get this in the case in just a few minutes. Okay, let's check the mounting mechanism for this um, AIO. Make sure it's good to go. So we're gonna leave this right here. 
grab our AI, AI, ooh. Now we have used this before, so understand um, this does usually come with pre-applied thermal paste. This is not a new AIO. We have used this one before. Um, so if, you, uh, if you're saying, oh, well, you know, Roby, you know, does it come with pre-applied thermal paste? Yes, it does. We're just, uh, we're checking the mechanism because I don't remember. Um, okay. So we have all this in, I'm trying to see what this uses. So it does use, okay, so, okay, so it's just like every other one. Pretty straightforward, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and install our brackets. So let's use our wow stick. Wow stick. Wow stick. Wow stick, there we go. Everybody loves the wow stick. There we go. Okay, so that's off. I think the last time we actually, we haven't used this on an AM4. Last time we used this on Intel, because I'm looking at the at the baggie here. So, because the AM4 is still in its retail packaging. We have the link to the wow stick. Everybody loves, the wow stick's a very popular, popular device amongst, amongst those of us who build the PCs. So, throw that in here so we don't lose them. Put that in the bag. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and just put these in the corners, like so. Like so. And one, two more. There we go, now we're ready for our pump. Um, now I have used this before, so it does not have thermal paste. Nope, it does not, okay? So guys, get ready, get ready. Who's ready? Tell me you're ready. Who's, uh, who's ready? Tell me you're ready, who's ready? Tell me who's ready, who's ready? Okay, everybody's ready. Okay, get ready, because you know what? You know what's coming. It's thermal paste time, and you know what that means. That means zen. It's time to get zen. Get ready guys, zen it up. Clear your mind, prepare, prepare guys. Be prepared, who's prepared? Time to zen it up. Here we go, meditation time. Let's go, here we go. Okay, turn it up. Focus guys, focus. Okay. Clear music, clear your mind. Because when you apply thermal paste, you gotta be zen. Bob Ross time, that's right, Bob Ross. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Grab some, some thermal paste here. Grumble th thermal paste applicator. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's right. Okay, we're gonna just drop. We're gonna drop a dab. In the center. Good amount there. Out of rice. this out over the top of you. And as you spread, feel your feelings, your emotions, your anger spread like this thin, and just wash away. Wash away your, your this, is, this, this is also really just great for your mental state. Just slowly spread this across the top of the IHS. Think of it as like spreading your problems thinly. You can manage them. Same thing. It's like, Feel the feel the, the the piece cover you like you cover the top of the CPU. That's right. Slowly you become peaceful, one with the CPU as you cover it, just like that. There you go. There you go. And there you go. You got a nice peaceful situation. Nice peaceful covering. You are prepared to take the next step, guys. The next step in your evolution and journey. Because that is what happens. I gotta go clean this off of toilet paper now. <laughs> I kind of felt like it cleared the killed the vibe. Somebody's like saying so cringe. What's cringe about it? That's amazing. We're having peaceful moments. Peaceful moments. You know what everybody wants to hear on stream? 
You want to hear a toilet flush. Did he just go to the bathroom while on stream and forget to mute his mic? What was he doing? Oh my gosh. The nerve of some people. <laughs> okay guys, so we've got that done. We're back back to our normal back to our normal music. Apparently some people are just having a having a tough time with our our uh, our music selection here, but there we go. Back to it. We've now you guys have had an inner moment, inner peace. Inner peace right there. That's what you've had. Inner peace has been achieved. We've got it anyway. Oh man. Okay, so we've got that covered. We're good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and start talking about our case because this is a new case that we're uh, we're doing here right now. Okay, we'll use pull this out a little bit later. Later. Something smells good. Okay. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the XPG Stalker. The XPG Stalker, a new case that we have not built in before. Uh, XPG sent this to me along with another care package for me to check out. We've got the white version, but it's available in white and black. So here it is right here. Um, one thing I did notice, a little bit weird with, with stripping down, you can see it's like, it's kind of like a clown car a little bit in the term that uh, it's really, it's like this, it's like compact this way. Not a very long, like not, you know, when you think of like a P600S or something like that, much, much tall, longer, but very tall, but not taking on a large amount of footprint uh, from uh, the, uh, the inside uh, from there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna start stripping this down, uh, taking a look. Uh, one thing I am excited about is just how tall this case is. Even though it doesn't, it's not very, uh, you know, very long width wise, it is nice and tall, which I do appreciate. And then we slide out. So remember, big thing for here is when you when you want to take this out, you just want to slide it out uh, to take that off. There's our glass door. Same thing with the, uh, the side. Pull the back off here. And we're just gonna pull the back off like that. Open that up. There's all of our extra spare stuff there. Go and get this un unleash it. We had a couple parts, it seems like, actually come out during shipping. So we're gonna take this little baggie off. I had a couple things that I had to like, I saw floating around on the inside here. So um, it does come with, uh, something that was pretty neat, it does actually come with the vertical mount, vertical GPU mount um, as well. So that's kind of nice. Um, so uh, you can basically flip that whole thing around and uh, use a vertical GPU mount, which is nice. The other thing it also comes with is a PC speaker, um, which I haven't seen in a while, not since like Rosewill. Rosewill always seems to ship with PC speakers, but if you have a motherboard um, that doesn't have um, like, uh, that doesn't have, um, uh, like a, like an, a display, um, PC speakers will do what are called beep codes and they'll tell you things like, hey, based on this beep code, like something's wrong with your RAM or whatever it is. Uh, front cover is just magnetic, it just pulls right off, so super, super easy to take off. Um, it's also got this really crazy um, uh, uh, dust filter, we'll pull that off here in a second. Which, would, I mean, if you had, if you had a lot of RGB fans in the front, it would actually be kind of cool because, oh yeah, there it is. So the uh, so the dust filter slides up like that. So there's your dust filter. Um, and then if you had a lot of RGB, you would get a lot of like side glow, which would be kind of neat off the side if you had some RGB fans in the front there, um, which would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's 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 pretty nifty neato. It does come. This is actually the stock configuration it comes with. It comes with a single black fan as well as. Um, it comes with a single black fan, and then it comes with a, a rear uh, RGB fan um, off the bat there. Ooh, that's what happened, guys. Check this out. Um, the whole, the bag got ripped open via the, with the, um, here, I'll show the top down. The bag got ripped open be, by the vertical GPU mount. So, like, we had hardware kind of sloshing around on the inside. So, pull this stuff out. Ooh. And a couple screws there. There we go. So I don't know if I, I don't think I lost anything else. I don't see anything else kind of flying around in here. But yeah. 
Not good when stuff like that flies around because you can shear off bolts, etc. but we'll, it doesn't look like anything's damaged. So now what we'll do is we'll just grab another little baggie from my collection. So let's store all this stuff. go throw those in there all right cool now we've got everything together and again we've got a vertical gpu mount we'll have to see about that when we maybe potentially vertically mount this but yeah that's the overall case uh, in general uh there um pretty, pretty straightforward uh like i said very tall very very com compressed in terms of uh uh it's uh it's uh girth so to speak but yeah, well, let's start building in it and see how it ends up. I kind of, I kind of want to put, I kind of want to put some nice white fans in it, um, just to see how the how the RGB would show through the through the front. You know what I mean? Like I think that would look better. Um, so I might do that anyway. I might grab some white fans and just uh, make it look pretty in the front. I have actually forgot. I actually have this Cooler Master one. Maybe I'll do that. It's like silver. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. This is attaches to this like splitter here. There we go. There's the splitter there. We'll throw this into the, well, I mean, this will get used for later. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what I got in the, in the collection here. I think I had, one second. I think what I have is, I'll be back in one second. I'm gonna check something. Cause that might, this might actually be pretty cool. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I thought I had this cool three fan. Is it in here? Maybe it is in here. This is all the spare RGB fans I have. Yeah, this thing. We'll use this. We'll use this. Let's throw that on there. There you go. Nice and simple. Cooler master, there we go. Throw this in there. Pull it in. Throw some 360. It's got a single RGB header. Figure this out here in a minute and use that. Get some RGB, you know, more RGB. Why not? And an easy install too, which I, which I always appreciate. It's like got a single RGB header. Okay, here we go. I can use, I can just for the sake of, for the sake of this build, I can just use the four fans to install this, you know what I mean? So it's just like an easy, you got a silver in there and you're good to go. There we go, go to the side camera real quick so you can just watch me install this real quick. It's white and silver, so that should look okay. And then we'll get some RGB out of it. You gotta have lots of RGB, you know? Oh, it looks like we need to put this down a little bit. There we go.
There we go. Now we got all RG now we got all RGB. That seems better. Okay, there we go. Now we got white fans in the front. They'll be hidden by the thing anyway, and so of all RGB, and that'll look nice. And that's a, a nice little easy addition to make it look good. Here we go. So let's go top down here. Let's put our motherboard in. Like the case is like just super like compact. Okay. <clears throat> This does not have, does not have all of its uh, headers in. Okay, so we're gonna have to put some, there's only part of its uh, headers in here. So we'll have to put those in real quick. We're gonna put these, easy. Put up our box here. Zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. Our standoffs, that's the word I was looking for. I don't know why I said headers. Standoffs, there were standoffs here. Oh, this does have a standoffs top, which is nice. I have a spare one now. Okay, let's get our standoffs in here. Put three in. There we go. One more. Yeah, now we are standoffs. This also has like a nice little place to put your RGB. Um, your your to it does this does also have the cutout for uh, hiding cables. I think we I think you guys I think you guys would agree we probably want to vertically mount because this is just because because it comes with it. Oh, I don't have a do I have a riser cable? I have a ton, I just don't know where they're at. And then I'm gonna, if I do a riser cable, we're gonna have to BIOS, deal with the BIOS there. It's because I don't have a PCIe Gen 4 riser cable. Oh, yeah. Something I always love about the new world we're in, if we don't have a Gen 4 riser cable. Question is also, even if I switch it, is it gonna, it's, I have a tendency to see they sag a lot. Um, so maybe we'll just do side for now. I'll figure it out. I'll think about it. So switching this, because if we switch this to here, right, like again, what you do is you basically put this in, like, you want these up top. So this would be like this. Yeah, that's the bottom actually. Um, that's the top right there, no, so it's like this. How's that gonna work? Yeah, this should go in here. And that goes like that. And then these get screwed in from the bottom. Yeah. Do we have, hold on one sec. Um, checking something real quick, guys, just to make sure. I'm looking at, I wanna see, I wanna see. Okay, let me just look at it here. Trying to be, trying to be sly, it wasn't working. I wanna see what the, uh, how to mount the, how to, what the mounting of the, uh, for uh, vertical mounting is. 
I'm just looking at that really quick. Because if we can do it, we can do it, and that'll look cool. But if we can't, it looks like it's got the back part, but is there anything else you need? Do, do, do. Yeah, I know, but it's not, it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with how it, it's not the slot cover. Yeah, it looks like the mounts for it are here, right? So the PCI bridge thing is here for mounting the, for mounting the, for mounting the uh, riser cable. That's what I'm looking at. So it's just, I'm trying to see what the mount is for the riser cable. Just takes a second guys versus like i'd rather look at it and then versus guessing there it is okay i found it on the page Remove the pre-installed and replace it with the individual BGA bracket. And the, but the question is, is like, I don't know, it just, like, does it just pop in there? So yeah, it's just like, like, that's great that it's got it, but where does the bracket, like installing the bracket is the question. So even if you have this, even if you have this in, like what it's saying, right? Like this goes, these go on the bottom, like I thought. And then, yeah, these go on the bottom like this. So it goes in like this in here, which is great. But the question is, is like this part of it. And it looks like it actually comes with some mounting screws for it. But again, let me see if I have a horizontal bracket. Because again, if I start this process, I don't know if I have a riser cable. That's the question. I don't know if I have a riser cable in here. Because I can't do anything without a riser cable. I do have one. Because usually when you install one of these, this has to sit up like this, right? And so there's usually something you need to do to get that to sit up, right? And that's the part that like on a lot of them have for mounting. And I don't see that part of this thing. So that's the biggest, that's the thing that I'm curious about. It has nothing to do with vertically mounted, it has everything to do with where's, how's, how do I mount this so it stays down at the bottom like that? Yeah, you need, you need back, you need, you need some party back, uh, brackety, uh, sorry, bracketry, and that's what I don't understand. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking of, and I don't think there's something that, I don't, I didn't see anything in here that, that addresses that part of it. So yeah, I think we're just gonna throw in our motherboard now and let's keep building. Ugh. There we go. Okay, well, all of our standoffs are in, which is good. Okay, cool, there, motherboard's in. Let us grab our screws. Okay, and which screws are we using here? Usually these. If it is. Yeah, that's what I thought, Mark. Yeah, it's like I, I think I'm gonna I think I'd have to I think I'd have to get I don't I think if I'm gonna do a vertical in this case, I'd have to um, actually plan it. And I don't think this is planned appropriately. So you're right. Fan cables in the IO shield. Oh, thank you. Good catch before I got too far. We are at 80 subs already, guys. Oh yeah, it is, jeez. Like really in there. Okay, now it's not. 
Thank you for catching that. Now we're good. Okay, getting through there pretty quickly. Couple more cables to connect there. I mean, a couple more screws to add. And then we are good. How are we doing on the YouTube likes? Because there was like 97 before we even got into the, before even the show started. Go. Okay. Oops, that's not the right screw. It's the wrong screw. That's the right screw. Okay, good. Okay, all of our screws are in. Now we're just gonna install our AIAIO. Looks like this probably has something to do with doing the vertical mounting. Just gotta find it. We're just gonna do it normally. We're gonna do the same old horizontal mounting. You're so boring, Ruby. So boring. I have everything for the P500 and all those other ones, but yeah, we're gonna be boring today. We're gonna be boring. Good old boring, Roby. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, we're not using this. Okay, so we got all our fan. We got we got all our fans on. Let's go ahead and get our get our AIAIO mounted and move in from there. We're gonna put our riser cable. Whoa, how did that get stuck on? You know, this box up there. there we go. Okay. Um. Okay, let's get our, let's put our AIO together. Let's take a look at our, how are we doing today? I haven't looked at our numbers today. 744 on Twitch, 586 on YouTube, 91 hanging out on twitch.tv slash Newegg. And we've got one, count it, one Facebook faithful hanging out on Facebook right now. There it is right there. Okay, here's our, you get some stickers. Here's our fans. Here's our AIO. Here's our stuff. More stuff. Need all the stuff. Stuff and stuff and stuff. Cool. I don't wanna lose any of this because it's gonna get packed up afterwards. Okay, so this is gonna go in like that. Which means this is gonna go like this. The fans are gonna go right like that, right? Yes. Okay, so there's our cool XPG fans. Make sure they're like that. Okay, grab our screws, which are not these ones. They're in here. Nope. Right here. And these all are daisy chainable, so they should be pretty straightforward. And hopefully we can daisy chain them right into the Cooler Master. We'll find out. But that's okay. If not, I can. I have a 
splitter for five volt, which is fine. Might be a 12, I think it's a five volt splitter, yeah. Might be a 12 volt, I hope not. Oopsie. Drink. Okay. Is that even a drink thing anymore? Um, hey, sub goal reached 100. There we are, guys, on to 150. Next goal coming up. Sometimes you might get too tight and it's not quite going in the hole, so. There we go. Okay, now it's in. Okay. And we'll switch out the giveaway stuff here in a second. Finish putting this. Uh, let's go ahead and do it now. Sub goal. Sub goal done. On our way to $150 new gift card. We have 100. We're at 150. We need 150. We're at 100. There we go. Next goal is up, ladies and gentlemen. Next goal is up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. There we go. One more screw and we are done with the screwing. That sounds bad, but that is the truth still. Okay, all the screws are in now what we're going to do and again this is daisy chainable so we should just be able to go ahead and hook this into this there's our rgb hooked up into that like so there we go that's daisy chained in same thing with our fan plugged in ready to go okay so those are all those are all ready to go. Um, I'm gonna check to see what I need here. There is, this is allowing me to daisy chain into the RGB for this. So we have a, this is what it looks, I can plug, I can daisy chain RGB here. I actually have lots of options here. And then we also have the same thing. We have an extension here for our fan, which is cool. We're gonna undo that. Let's save that for it up here. Okay, so this plug into here. We can do there we go. We're gonna plug that into this, and there we go. Now I've got a extended. Let's see, having a hard time there. Oh. There we go. Okay, so there fans are now hooked up. Then what we have here is we have this is our RGB. We're gonna take that, that's gonna go into this. There we go. And then this, we'll plug into this header here, which is gonna allow me, to, so now I have, oops, sorry, like this. And that is actually now daisy chained. And then we actually have another one here. 
as well. Okay, so we're actually good. And then we can actually plug the Cooler Master into this and then all of our RGB will be plugged in. Question is, is that I gotta figure out where the plug is for the, for the other fan. Okay, so let's get, this is going into our case. So we're gonna get that hooked up and then go from there. Let's go to our side camera. Pull this up. Like so. You guys see that? No, not really. Okay, we'll do it over here. There we go. And we have a lot of room at the top of this case to a lot of room at the top of this case to run all this stuff so it's not as big of a deal what we're gonna do here yeah we have a lot of room here we're gonna mount this more towards the front to give myself lots of room in the back here to be able to uh, get to it so I'm gonna see first test can I do the screws with my thumbs Grab our wow stick. Okay, there's one. Then I'm gonna run all my cables after I get this on here. you miss fail oh you know what? I'll do it towards the middle actually there we go okay now I can at least get to all of the cables and get everything wired up which is important to me okay so this is gonna go into the CPU right here okay there we go okay so now all of our cables are hooked up I'm just gonna run this stuff we use this one this is our fans plug this one next to it like so okay now what we're gonna do start running all this stuff Like I said, there's actually a ton of room up here to get this done, so I'm not actually overly worried about it. Okay, let's get the rest of our top-down stuff in real quick. Maybe a little bit easier to finish this. screwdriver switch heads here There we go. Okay, so now all of our, like that's in, in the loosest way. We're gonna bring it over here and show you guys me screwing in the other top bolts and then we'll wire it all.
Uh, you would do it as an external one if you wanted to do a SATA Blu-ray. You would do it as an external. You would not, uh, this doesn't have a drive bay. Okay, now, okay, so we got all that stuff in. The only thing we need out of here now is, we need our AMD bracket. Don't need any of this stuff. Do that, and then we'll just put this stuff back in the bag. Okay. And now, we're gonna work on real quick is just getting all of our wiring inside here. We have a lot of wiring that needs to go up. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it. I'm gonna mount that little bit. It's just stuck in. Let's go ahead and mount the pump real quick. Then we can run all the wiring. There's so much room in this case for wire, running wiring that it's actually just, it's really easy, which is not something you get a lot of. Um, but in this case, it's actually really nice. Go top down. Okay. So we already have, like I said, pre applied, we, we applied thermal paste earlier. So that's why we don't, it does usually come with the thermal face applied, but we've used this before. There we go. Here's all that. Okay, pump is in. Now we can just run all our cables. Oh, of course I did that, okay. these underneath we'll run that okay so now let's run all our cables get all that stuff into the back and then go from there okay cool okay let's go to side view as you see this so we're just gonna wired now, all these up and into them. Carefully. Figure it out here nicely. Like I said, lots of room up here to pull this stuff through, which is actually really cool. Because that's all that stuff through. And now we have these, which is like our RGB. Hide all this in the back. Oopsie. There we go. Ugh. Might have unplugged some things. It's okay. Figure it out here. And then now, this is going the wrong way. Pull this through. Run it up like this. It's gonna plug into this like so. This is our, I'm plugged in into our CPU header and then I'm running our RGB on the other side of the cables here. Let me look clean. Put these underneath just like that. And bada boom, bada bing. You have a clean looking build. Okay, cool. Here we go, now our cables are in the back where they should be. We don't have anything, we don't, all, all the front looks good and clean, which is what you want. I'm gonna do a zip tie real quick and then we'll finish hooking everything up. So that's what I was doing. Okay, cool. Let's go over here. 
to clean up the top again. So right up here, what I'm gonna do is run a couple cable, run a couple little zip ties. I just want everything to look like a single cable. Just like that. Okay, and grab our little snips. And that'll hold it in there. I left a little bit out so it holds it in there. And there you go. Now you've got a very nice, clean looking build with a single cable coming off the top. Okay. Okay, now let's turn this over, figure out the rest of our cabling. Then we'll hook up our front panel. The build's actually in pretty good shape. Um, so not a, lot of, not a lot of messing about left, which is cool. We got a lot of cables back here, but I'm not overly worried about it. Okay, so. This one is interesting. This is our, that's another fan. And then this is the RGB. And this also has a splitter, which is cool. So I've got a, another, I could actually add a fan up here. Where is my, I brought it through. Okay, there it is. So we have another cable somewhere. Lots of freaking splitters here. Okay, we're gonna get all this untied so we can figure this out. Okay. adapter that I oh there it is I was like where's the oh there it is okay I was like where's the other adapter okay so this we're gonna daisy chain the crap out of this okay so here now that RGB is connected so this is the RGB for the this is the RGB for the fan which is pushed how is this is this like is there like an RGB button oh shoot Okay, so this is a fan header. We'll find a place for this here in a minute. This is, uh, I'm trying to figure out, this is going to someplace in the case. Okay, front panel connectors. These are gonna go right here. Let's start throwing connectors out so I can make this a little easier. Okay, this is HD audio, goes right here. USB 3.2, USB 3 goes in the bottom, right? Yep, USB 3. Okay, now we have, how's this crap? Okay, so here we go. This is what I was looking for. That's SATA power for this. This is what I was looking for right here. Which is all like twisted and tangled up here. Welcome to figuring out PCs. Okay, so we have another daisy chained cable. That's the one for here. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I have like some semblance of what the heck is happening here. Okay, so this is, this is allowing me to do, this is my VGA, which is plugged into the board. Okay, so I can plug this, plug this into here. There we go. So now I, that should all be daisy chain. The question is, I have one more here, this. Do I have a way to, and I do have one more place. Okay, so guys, believe it or not, we actually daisy chain the entire thing, RGB to a single header. There we go. Everything is daisy chained to a single header, which is crazy. 
um, and we'll hook that header up. This header right here is the, the RGB. So it's gonna go right there. And then I have a, this is our three fans. This is gonna go down here as well. And then we have one more. I think there's three fan headers down at the bottom, right? One right there, okay. And then there's one right there, okay. Okay, and then this is gonna have to go up here. I'll plug that one in right there. Okay, so now all of our cables are going to get plugged into the front the way they need to be. They're all in the right place. And now we can turn it over and hook everything up. That is a lot, that was a lot of figuring things out, guys. Sometimes that happens. Okay, so first one, we have a, we have a fan up here. Plug this in right here. That's our rear fan. Good to go. Okay, next up, front panel connectors. Front panel connectors. Okay, so hard drive and reset switch. Okay, hard drive. Reset next to it. I'll zoom in and show you guys all this here in a minute. Okay, next up we have power and then plus and minus. So far so good. Oh, I forgot. We're going to have, and the good thing is, is that we should be able to, I have an open header for our um, AIO. I mean, our, uh, I have an open header for our uh, cables. I love when they do this. Okay, we have to go to the side here. Yep, bent pin. Yay! Bent pin. I hate this 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 um, this connector. I need a flathead. There you go. Small bent pin, guys. Yeah, how not to build a PC? Bend a pin. But luckily. Okay, there we go. You want to go at like a basically a 90 degree angle. There we go. Hooked up. There we go. Fan header right there. There we go. There's a fan header. Then HD audio. It was in the bottom left, bottom right here. Okay, there we go. Now I am going to try, I'm gonna see how long this RGB is and save the bottom one. Over here, yeah. I'm gonna save this bottom one actually for the, um, save this bottom one actually for the uh, RGB cable extensions and use this top one for the everything else, all fans and everything. Because those should daisy chain together. So I'm gonna pull this up top. And run this up here. So now, so just to zoom in and show you guys what we've done, so you guys can see a little bit of terms of what we got here. Okay, so what we did is we hooked up, uh, up here at the top, this is our rear fan, is next to this, is now plugged in. Uh, up here, sorry, rear fan's plugged in right here. This is all of our RGB for all of the fans and the AIO. Um, then we come down here, we've got our front panel connectors, our USB 3, 
our, uh, this is our fan, three fans in the front, and then we've got HD audio uh, right here in the far left here. So that's all of our fans. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna flip it over, just do a little bit of cable manage, kind of keep things cleaned up. And then from there, um, we can put in our GPU and then hook up our extension cables. Um, so I might do extension cables first, uh, minus the, obviously the GPU stuff, so. So there we go. Fans, everything is in and working so far. That back in, and let's get some, get some control in the back. It's a little, it's a little messy right now. Okay. Now we have a lot of depth here in the back for this. So nothing. This shouldn't be too crazy. What I'm going to do is try and pull everything super tight. It can't be too thick up here. We just want this to be relatively flat to keep things kind of low. I don't want this to pop above the case. There we go. That's good. Okay, that's low. What I'm doing right now is just working on channeling. I want to channel as much of this stuff together as humanly possible. Now, I'm not going to be too crazy because, again, this case is going to get, this build is going to get ripped apart. I'm going to get at least to the point where it's clean ish. Clean ish. Go. Coming up on the coming up on the good old hype train cool down here pretty soon, guys. There we go. Now what we're doing here is I want to, there's a couple of these cables, which honestly we probably have some twisted up stuff, it looks like. So we can actually create some clumps up here for these. here. If you want to, it, like usually with these clumps like this, the thing, like the trick I use, you use two different, like you do one in the top and then one near the bottom. Oh, I'll help you put the zip tie on right, Ruby. You do like one at the top like that. What is that supposed to be plugged into? Oh, that. Shoot, we have all sorts of like, things. There you go.
kind of one that kind of pushes this up so it's not visible from below. There we go. There we go. And what we do here, get these cables under control. This is just to make these ones tight. There we go. go and we're just going to use that as an anchor point maybe a lot of cables for this i mean honestly they did not skimp on cable length in this build which is kind of cool but uh this means you might have a little bit of a you're gonna have like a more of a snake-esque pattern for your cable management control here there you go you have a nice little snake movement there and then what we can do is just yeah there you go that, and that's that's good enough right like again the cables still end up looking Relatively clean and uh, easy to easy to find and in control, which is all we really want. Okay, so let's do this. There you go, nice little kind of clean channel. Makes it really easy. Again, this is not a, this is not a, this is a temporary build, so I just want to do enough that it looks, you know, it looks nice, but it's not, you know, it's not the most, like I'm not, like I'd, I'd definitely do some more work if I was going to do more than, if I was going to do more than that. There we go, I almost forgot one. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Let's flip this over. We got everything kind of in. We got our one power. We still have to figure out our GPU and all that sort of stuff. They're pretty straightforward now. And then like from the from the front, it looks really good. I think I'm gonna add. overly anal if I do that. It's like, it's like I want the build to look perfect and then you see like one little thing you're like, oh, it's not, it's not a finish, it's not a, a finished build. So let me try this. Okay, so we got that. It all looks good. It's all clean. Build looks clean. We're good here. Okay, let us, let's go ahead and take a look at these cables. We're gonna understand them a little bit better. So these are the XPG RGB cable extensions and we have the VGA and we have the actual We have the, v, the, the VGA and we have the actual one that belongs to, there we go. Just grabbing the, all the rigmarole here. Okay, so this. Plugs in. Pull that through. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, so there's that one. I almost feel like... Trying to see if I can get this to be on top of these. Do you think that'll make better? So now we got that. Let's go ahead and uh, figure out these two. These are all that goes in the back. There's our RGB there. Now one thing I will say is if you are gonna use these, do not use them with VGA, EVGA, because they switch the direction of their, their, their connectors, and so uh, these don't work with EVGA. This is an FYI. Okay, so these are separated, which is cool. The question is, and there's two of them, wow. So these are gonna go in this stuff here. I wonder if I should run them up to the side down there and let them run to the side there. As much as I'd like to run them there, I don't think that's gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to do like the 011 Mini. And run them down here. Like that. I think they're gonna have to run like, geez, those are really wide down there. Let's figure that out, okay. Yeah, cause that, those gaps are really wide. Okay, let's grab our GPU. It's all the stuff that goes in the back. Let's grab our GPU, GPU time guys. Figure out how to run all this stuff when we get the bad boy in. Okay, let's go to side camera. 110 guys, 110 subs. We should be, we should be actually uh, about to reset for uh, level two, level five hype train. Just a second. They got 585 dropping 25 already. Psycho. Looks like a repeat from last week already. Vega's like, I want to be number one again. Okay, there we go. Okay. There's our bracket. There we go. And let's pull out our 3070 here. There we go, right there. off. 
think we have, I'm not worried about the peels. It's back. Okay, cool. 30, 70 ready. See what we need for peels. I think the only one we have are these little dragons. There we go. There's one. There we go. Two. Last one. There we go. Okay. Everything's peeled. Okay, let's get this inside the case. We can uh, we can see what this is gonna look like. And then figure out our crazy RGB cables. See? Oh no. Oh, son of a oh, crud. Got it. Figure those out. I always love it when that happens. Okay, we got our one out. Grab our other one. There we go. Boom. Okay, here we go. Throw this in. This actually might end up working really well for the, wow, that is like barely. That is like barely, that is, that is like barely but this actually might end up working really well for the RGB um, cables because they're gonna be at the right spot for this. Um, for this little gap down here. There we go. Because these can go and be right here. Like that. I think that'll look okay, actually. Okay, and we'll pull all the cables through. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. Let us get the rest of our bracket in and all that stuff, so. To essentially other ones in. OK, 
Okay, there we go. Now it's protected, anti-sagged. And that looks good. Okay, so let's turn it over, get the rest of our cables kind of hooked up. We got some attachments to kind of get figured out, get them all hooked up, and then we're actually cooking with gas because we just got to put our PSU in. This is all the cable stuff. Okay, so this is all daisy chained as well, which we have a lot of it. So this will daisy chain into this. We still have to run our PSU one, which also has a daisy chain. Okay, so that's all daisy chain. This is, uh, that's actually, this will actually put everything through this. That should go through here, right? Isn't that where the RGB is? Gotta see. And then what do we need here? I think this is if I wanted to control it independently, um, but I don't necessarily want to. I just want everything to go off of the, off of the motherboard, so. It actually might be fine here. And I'll, I'll, I'll probably zip tie this stuff. I just wanna see where my RGB header is. Way over there. It's unfortunate, okay. How far can I stretch you? I don't know if this is gonna help, but we'll see. Pretty straightforward in terms of installation. Okay, let's see what we get here with this. Does this give me a lot more? Yeah, it does, okay. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get that to, whoops, well, okay, we'll have to get that. We're gonna get this hooked up. It's our RGB for our, our RGB for our, That's a four pin. I thought there was another three pin down here. Oh, it's over here. Oh, it's over here. Oh, that's even better. Never mind. I was in the wrong place. That's even better because it's in the right, it's in a good spot. It goes right here. This hooks in right here. Like this. There we go. Okay. There, all of our cables, including our RGB is in now. Okay, now we can daisy chain it. And we're good. Okay, cool. I want that, not the same. Yeah, all I'm gonna do here is just zip tie these together and then we're good. That's actually all of the cables. Pretty straightforward. Remember, I'm not this isn't like so I can ship, you know, this isn't like a, a person's build. So all I'm doing is getting it clean enough so I'm not a complete loser. Because, I, you know, I don't want to be like, I, you know, there's just something to me, it's like, there's just something about finishing a build and that's still somewhat cable managed, right? That you can show that I, cable management is just something that I still want to do, regardless of whether I'm keeping the build or not.
Is it my best cable management in the world? No, but it still looks better than nothing. Okay, so now all of our ARGB is hooked up. Now we're just ready to put in our PSU. This goes with the power supply one. Okay, now we are just on the last part. Everybody say PSU time, because that's where we're at, which that's always a good place to be, because we're at, that means we're at the end of the build, pretty much. There's no, all we gotta do is finish hooking up those last little cables, and then there's actually only one SATA, which is pretty straightforward. So there's not a ton to even plug in from the PSU standpoint. It's pretty crazy. Uh, guys, we're at 111. Uh, hype train should be active. So if we want to go ahead and kick that off, I don't know if one of my big supporters wants to just drop it. Let's get it started. And then once we finish this hype train, we'll uh, finish out the build. We're, uh, we're close. Let's, pick, let's get it going, guys. Let's see how the streams, are, this is going pretty quick. Let's do it, guys. Come on, let's uh, let's get that hype train going and and kick it off. And then we'll finish our PSU and finish our whole thing. And the way hype train works is uh, just uh, subs or uh, subs or bits over on uh, bits over on twitch.tv slash robytech. Now remember, uh, for those of you who don't know, we still have all of our giveaways that still haven't happened, so we're gonna be giving away, uh, how many likes do we have on YouTube? Um, I, we gotta be getting close to that. So if we get a level high five hype train again, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe. If we get 800 subs, uh, 800 subs on YouTube, we give away a 250 gig NVMe. But the big thing is, is that right now, there we go, 10 gifted terms from Psycho. So, so some Psycho is dropping it, starting it off. Oh, so we're at 700, okay, so we're good. Um, so we need, what we're, we're gonna get 700, so we're good there. Um, and then finally, um, there we go, the bits are going. We should be starting Hype Train any second now, because we, we, we should be there. Come on, Psycho, you kicked it off, right? There it goes, there is the level five Hype Train. Now, and also don't forget, so if we get 150 subs, which we, which we will, we will, we'll give away a $150 new gift card. But the other thing too is don't forget, for the month of March, we're gonna give away two, uh, for the month of March, we're giving away two 3070s. So two people are gonna win this month. Um, and so uh, if you got an opportunity to basically get two uh, 3070s. So if you're over at twitch.tv slash Newegg or youtube.com slash Robitech, hop on over to twitch.tv slash Robitech. Use your free Prime subscription. There we go, Vega dropping them right there. Just there, dropped 25s, Vega's, Vega's kicking it off. Uh, getting everything hyped for his build that's coming up. Sternum dropping his uh, right there, five gifted subs. There we are at 150. Now, next goal, uh, next goal, if we get to 300 is a 3060. If we get to 300 subs, we'll give away a 3060. And uh, we'll be, uh, which is the next, which is the next, uh, which is the next tier for the giveaway. Jester, D925, thank you very much for the two gifted, uh, two tier one uh, community subs. Uh, we got 100 bits there from Sobered. Um, so yeah, 500% guys, let's finish it out. Let's finish it out strong. And then we'll get our PSU in and finish out this build. Look at that, subscribe for five months. Thank you everyone, uh, Shake and Bake, 76. Shake and Bake, baby, Shake and Bake. Uh, tweezer less PC build? Nah, this has a lot of tweezers, uh, according to the uh, fine folks over at uh, The Verge. So yeah, they, uh, they love their tweezers. Thank you very much, Boyker, for the tier one subscription. Appreciate it, my friend. Let's get it going, guys. We're gonna 574%. We're on our way. Can we get to a 3060 today? That'd be awesome. I just got a, just got, I got some in, so I'd love to give some away, which is always great. Thank you very much, X Lime. Uh, remember, the sub is on Twitch, not on YouTube. It's subs on Twitch, guys, uh, that unlock that stuff. So, uh, that Jerry Bear. Thank you very much for your uh, that Jerry Bear. Thank you very much for your two months there. We got Rocket. One, two, three, four, five. G Camp. G Campa 86, five tier one subs. Thank you very much, my friend. Remember, 
every all the tier all the subs uh the gifted subs goes towards extra entries for those giveaways guys so i appreciate that did grandma did grandma go did grandma leave already i don't know she, i never see if she's here at the end of the stream <clears throat> is it weighing on a 5600 the 5600 at least they show up pretty regularly uh torpedo strike those show up pretty regularly on the new egg shuffle so i know quite a few people have been able to pick those up which has been great so yeah Remember on YouTube hitting 800 likes, unlocks. That's right, Cole Martin. Let's get those last 100 likes over on YouTube. There we go. Another two months from uh, Sishaka. We got Noah Storch dropping a prime sub. Thank you very much, my friend. 745%. Two minutes left, guys. How much hype can we get? A thousand percent hype? A thousand percent hype. Let's do it. Uh, Cozy, well, you'll know how to enter when we do it at the end. It's pretty. It's pretty straightforward. So there we go. There we go. Another subscription right there, Munchkin dropping it. Uh, is it tilted? Looks like four tilt. I can't remember what that is. So, but then we're at set. Oh, what did we hit? Oh, our followers aren't even showing up there right now today. I don't know how many followers we have. We were at 67,000 just not that long ago. So, thank you for all that sort of stuff, guys. There we go, King of the Aztec 55 dropping a prime sub. One minute, 36 seconds left, guys. Can we get to 1,000%? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Is it Zat Zalted? Exalted! Exalted! I got it! Exalted! One! I met I did I got it! Exalted one! Thank you very much. I did. I, okay, you went ice up. <laughs> I got it right. Max CL2, Matt CL23. Do you know what my chances of getting a 36 from New Age Shuffle are? Or many people? 36. Uh not not I would like I got cho I won today, so I would say you have a good chance. So uh, thank you very much, Geotherma, for giving out one, uh, two community subs. Appreciate that as well. Thank you very much, Boobin101, for the 101 uh, bits. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Unique Swagger. Appreciate the thank you uh, and the congratulations. I appreciate that, too. Um, yeah, we're getting close. We're getting super close, guys. Uh, we got 45 seconds left. Uh, mobile experts like, yes, hashtag ad. Yes, it is a very, the end of the stream, and usually the one where we just, this is where people uh, show their support, so yes. Sorry, but we are gonna get back to the build here very shortly. Of the, what, three hours of the stream, about, what, 15 minutes is this? <laughs> That's not a ton. Give a one, tier one sub, thank you very much. Kilo India 4, appreciate that, for that. 882%, guys, we're so close! So close! Can we do it? Do you ever make water cool PCs? Absolutely, we do. So we do it all. We do. We actually have uh, not recently, but yes, I do make them. Uh, we made. Uh, we made. We usually make them uh, on rare occasions, but they're pretty big. Yeah, Friday stream was so wild, Psycho, and I appreciate your incredible support. A bittersweet thank you for that. Hype train is done. Two level five hype trains. Incredible. Thank you very much, guys. 174 subs today. That's amazing. You're amazing. Let's do. Uh, how many likes do we have on YouTube? It's 751. Sub goal reached. There we go. Um, 39 subs. I'm gonna go and throw the next goal. I'm gonna see how many likes we have. Um, how many we have in YouTube though? That's the thing. 768. Come on, guys. We need 32. Let me go ahead and I'll change the sub goal. Let's go hit those likes over on YouTube, and then uh, we'll do the giveaway for those two right away. Eight, we're gonna get 800 likes. We have 829 hanging out on you Twitch, 530 on YouTube, 107 over at Newegg, and five hanging out on Facebook right now. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, change to the goal. We have 175, so we want to do this is a 3060 giveaway. Oops, giveaway. Be 300. 175. You know what? I I kind of messed that up. I that's actually supposed to be the 450 giveaway, but I'm making it young, so. If we'll see if you guys are able to, uh, you guys are able to, uh, there you go, YouTube goal reached. Okay, so here we go. Uh, everybody say thank you, YouTube, and thank you, Twitch. Thank you, YouTube, and thank you, Twitch. First giveaway of the night, we're gonna be giving away two 250 gig NVMe drives, starting that right now. So everybody say thank you, YouTube, thank you, Twitch. Okay, entry for this one. The way this is gonna work is I'm gonna give you a word with an exclamation point. You're gonna enter that word, you're gonna have two minutes. You don't have to spam it. You only have to enter once, maybe twice just to verify. And then after that, after two minutes, we draw the winner. We're gonna draw two winners. I'll announce who they are if I am not paying attention to this too much. Uh, and then uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. And then the, the last giveaway will be the same way. So uh, entry point for this one will be exclamation point community because you guys are incredible and you are my community. So exclamation point community for this one.
and we're giving away two 250 gig NVMEs starting that right now. Two minutes, guys. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and pull out our PSU here. PSU time. Get this, get this finished here. Ooh, some more pictures. Look at all these pictures. Ugh. It's almost, it's almost done. Okay, cables we need. We will need two VGA. See, we need a CPU. There's a CPU right there. A VGA. We need two VGA actually. One SATA. There's our motherboard, and one more. Rad, perfect, that's what I need. Okay, so there's all those. Ooh, look at that, that's all wrapped up like a pro. Smells like awesome, Ugh. okay. Okay, our core reactor, core reactor. Is it ready to get plugged in? Oops. Get our core reactor book back in there. There we go. Core reactor. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, plug in our cables here. Let's go to side view so you guys can see we do that. Okay, so we have, first one is our CPU cable. Goes right here. Oops, it's helped if I actually plug the right one in. CPU, there we go. We have two VGA. There's one. And our second one is right here. There we go. Then we have two SATA. I mean, one SATA, because we only have one SATA thing that we gotta plug in. There we go. And then we've got our motherboard and bada boom bada bing okay there it is all ready to put in i do not know i'm gonna run out of these i need to i have a bunch some uh, PSU cables. Okay. Let's get this up a little bit. And PSU's in. Congratulations, okay, let's announce our two winners here. First winner is Alex over on YouTube. Congratulations, Alex over on YouTube. And the second winner was Raving, Raven Wing Dragon on Twitch. Congratulations, Raven Wing Dragon on Twitch. And to Alex on YouTube, you are the two winners of the 250 gig NVMe SSDs. Okay, let's finish this hooking up here at the very end of this whole shenanigan. I'm gonna do one thing still sitting up though, because we got to, and that is our one cable. It's gotta get plugged in here. Wow, that is stiff. Okay, I'm 
might have to do this. And these are just like, like the worst. It's like not good either way. Hold on one sec. Come on, baby. You can do it. There it goes. Okay. Okay, cool. In. That was a little bit harder than I expected. Okay, cool. Ugh. Whoo, that was harder than it should have been. Just that cable is not very long for CPU cables. And so, uh, yeah, you can see that's fairly short from a CPU cable standpoint. Okay, here we go. Let us grab, oh, where'd our VGA crud? No. This needs to come through now. Figure out how this is gonna go. Gonna definitely have some weirdness from a cable management standpoint. There you go. Use that like that. Okay. Okay, SAT is really easy because there's only one of those. It's like the tiniest cable, it's like one cable. Okay, so there's that. Okay, last two cables. We're gonna use this one. The top one here. Last cable of the whole thing, guys. There we go, okay. Okay, all of our cables are in. We're good. We should. I'm just gonna check. It should close. That's the question. Oh, this is like a weird. There we go. It closes. That's a good sign. Okay. Oh. Everything looks actually pretty good. Actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy how this came out. Okay. Go our Okay, let's throw our cap on the top. There we go. Throw our desk filter back on. Yeah, 
Okay, last part. Okay, there we go, guys. The build is together. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Here we go. Ooh. There it goes. Whoa. Look at that. Bling, bling. Man, look at that. That is funky. That is like very pretty. Lots of RGB on that for sure, right? Oh, is there, oh, that's right. There's a port that I forgot. There's an SSD down there still showing its light too. You know what? I probably it probably would have been okay to put it up here. Um, but yeah, you still got it there, right? Like you're not. Oh, the question is, are you getting? I'm not getting RGB out of the out of the front fans. So I'm not getting RGB out of the front fans. I wonder if something got disconnected there. Check real quick. Something's not, luckily. Oh, yep, there, I found it. There we go. There, now we have, now we have RGB. Wow, that's, I don't know why they're all green. It's like the XPG stuff's all green. So I gotta figure out why that's all green, but we can play around with that. But it's, there it is, right there, completed. You can't even, like, there, you, it's just like, green means go, that's right. And then again, you also have, like, there, you, you can take this off, and then you've got, here in the front, right? You've got that up in the green, you got the, Green up in the front as well. Grandma's back, is grandma back? You've got the green in the front there too. So again, you want to have that. You can choose that dust filter or you can basically pop this back on. It's nice and magnetic and then you're good there too. So you have both options and you got the, you got the extra glow there from that as well. So yeah, all in all, like impressed. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, let us here. Let me give you guys a let's do a side view. So we'll put it over here on the side. It does post by the way I hope this shows up, but it does post There we go we'll put it right there for you and then we'll give you the side camera so you guys can see it closer There's the side camera so there you go good view of the whole thing all lit up Yeah, I think maybe red would look good I do like the, these cables are not, you know, they're not as bright as the Strix, but they're still very cool. Um, and you get a lot of color out of them, um, which is pretty neat. We can, uh, we'll change the colors and stuff like that. But yeah, it does post. I don't know why it's not, again, this was one of those things that says device, like devices change, blah, blah, blah. And then we can basically uh, go in there. It's just, it's just not showing up for you guys on the capture for some reason. Doesn't make any sense. The capture's not showing up for some reason. I wonder if it's just not. Oh, there it is now. There you go. You can see it right there. There's the capture showing that it's basically there. It posts. So we have a posted build ready to go. That's it, guys. We did it. 
Another awesome build. What do you guys think? Oh, with the ice, we'll put Bob. Bob will sit there and look at it. We'll get the ice out of the way. The XPG Stalker. That was the case. Um, all in all, you know, all in all, pretty painless case to build in. Um, you know, you have to be into the look. Uh, but uh, again, I think a couple things that I really like is how much room you have at the top here. It makes it very easy to build. Um, the one thing that you can have is that, uh, the one thing that's kind of strange is that, you know, you might have like if you, in certain PSUs, you might have some issues getting that CPU connection if you're not using extensions uh, plugged into the top. In terms of airflow, I mean, you're, you're semi-restricted, um, but you can just pull this front off and get really good airflow. Um, plenty of room in the, you know, in the, in the boot um, for like hiding cables, stuff like that. I still had room to put in a, a hard drive if I wanted to. Um, you have options. Some of my favorite things is you do have the option for uh, basically being able to run cables uh, for uh, GPUs. There's still, I mean, this is a massive GPU and it fits in this case nicely. Um, uh, not if you're gonna if you're gonna do a 360 front mounted AIO. Obviously, something you're gonna have to think about. Top mounted AIO is great. Um, yeah, it's all in all pretty pretty easy to build in. Nothing too painful. Went together nicely. Um, you have plenty of room in the back, and both in depth and in terms of just doing your own cable management, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I have very little very little complaints uh, from the build uh, from doing this build um, and just uh, the process of actually. Uh, just kind of building in general. I, like, I genuinely enjoyed building this PC. So yeah, uh, that's that's kind of my thoughts. Uh, and then, you know, you've got that pretty crazy like dust filter if you want to, but yeah, that is it guys. That's my stream. Uh, we're gonna do the giveaway. We're also gonna raid somebody. We have a ton of people um, who are hanging out with us on Twitch. So we always love to kind of pay it forward and uh, have somebody, uh, 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 have somebody else like just bless their day because they might just be having a bad day or you know they're not used to having so many people hanging out in uh, in their chat so we're gonna pay it forward if you could just stick around do a follow just be there for them for a little bit that would be huge right um, our community is incredible you guys are amazing you're some of the kindest people and we love uh, you know people just get jazzed to have us drop just a massive amount of people in even for a little bit for people to enjoy. And then you might, you know what? You might be surprised and find somebody you actually really like. So, which would be awesome. So let's, uh, thank you very much for all those new subscriptions. We're, we're climbing up on 184. You guys, all of that stuff, 184 subs today, which is incredible. Um, I can't expect 1200 subs every show, nor would I even want it. Um, I have seriously the best community in the world. Let's do this giveaway though. This is for a $150 Newegg gift card. And obviously Newegg being our largest sponsor, uh, exclamation point Newegg now is going to be the entry for this. $150, let's go. And then we'll find somebody to raid. I'm just gonna wait for Blondie to tell me who we're gonna raid tonight. Just waiting to find out from Blondie. I think this build came out great. This is a great looking build. I don't, I'm not a fan of the green right now. I don't know why it's all green, but we'll get the colors changed. I think red would look good. Red and white. Very like Darth Vader-ish. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong. As much as I'd like to charge, I want to charge that with this. Ooh. Such a good day. I like painless builds after freaking Friday's build was a little bonkers. There we go. New egg now, new egg now. What do you think, Bob? Bob's like, I'm happy. See, and Blondie is, you know, Blondie's here to represent our community. So we got Blondie, we'll put Blondie out so she can, she can be a part of the party too. There she is. There's Blondie hanging out. I don't know how to put, Blondie, there we go. Blondie can hang out there. Bob and Blondie. A pair made in heaven. Whoopsie. Whoa, whoa, I just dropped that all the way down. Blonde is gonna come back and tell me she just gave me a raid target, which is cool. Okay, we're gonna be, oh. 
Uh, okay, she's still looking while we're still drawing our winner. Uh, let's grab the ram that fell down there. Blondie was like, unless you have somebody to raid, and I'm like, we all went, we all know how well that went last time. He was online. Trump. Oh, we got, we got, uh, we got um, Arcanaut. We could always raid Arcanaut. We haven't raided Arcanaut in a while. We could raid Arcanaut. So. Trying to see who else I follow. Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna do the W. The W is uh, who we're gonna raid. We're gonna drop in on the W. So it feels like that's a good one. Oh, Dad Got Game is playing Valheim again. Dad Got Game was cool. Actually, uh, I really enjoyed him. Uh, EVGA is live. Let's let's uh, let's actually do uh, let's do Dad Got Game. I really enjoyed uh, his uh, stream, and everybody seemed to really enjoy him too. So let's do Dad Got Game. I, I will, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, okay, congratulations to Hitman Wanted on YouTube. Congratulations, Hitman Wanted. You are the winner of the uh, New Egg gift card. So thank you very much, Hitman, congratulations. Now guys, we are back on Wednesday uh, for another, we're, 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 we're in doing a, uh, we're in doing a, uh, uh, we're in doing a, what's the word I'm looking for? We're in doing a commission build, uh, all white, uh, uh, Corsair 5000D, so it gr should be a really, really great build. All white Arctic should be beautiful. Um, and then uh, we're, uh, we got uh, videos coming out on the Tomahawk tomorrow. Um, and then we've got the review of the new uh, Intel, or sorry, overview of the new Intel uh, 670P uh, hard drive coming out on Thursday. So lots of new content, make sure you enjoy. Thank you very much for hanging out. Let's go raid this person. Uh, Dad got game and just have some fun. Please stick around. Just give him a follow. He's uh, he's incredible. He really enjoys Valheim and he has a lot of fun. Starting that raid now. Come on, guys. Can we get 800? How many people can we get? 300, 400, 500, 600. Come on, 700, 8. Come on. Ah, okay. Well, we got 700. So anyway, I'll take 560. Here we go, guys. Raiding him now. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I mean. Uh, not tomorrow, Wednesday.